double integral over rectangle. So we have a double integral y plus xy to the negative 2 dA. And then the rectangle is xy is on xy plane where x is between 0 and 2, y is between 1 and 2. Here is how I picture this problem in my mind. The integrand is y plus xy to the negative 2. That is a function which is z equals to y plus xy equal to the negative 2. Or you can take that as f of xy. So imagine this. The f of xy is a piece of paper that you are holding over your table. So that is a three-dimensional, right? Holding on your table. And then the shadow is on the xy plane. The xy plane is your table. And then if you check out the shadow, the shadow is actually a rectangle where x is between 1 and 2, 0 and 2, x is between 0 and 2, y is between 1 and 2. And we will have to set up a double integral. So that will be a double integral. And then I have the integrand y plus xy to the negative 2. I am going to do a dx dy integral first. So dx dy, the x is between 0 and 2. I will write x is from 0 to 2. And then y is from 1 to 2. So y is from 1 to 2. And then you do the dx first. Okay, so the dx, the 1 to 2, we are going to just drop it right there. And then x is a variable, so the integral of y is just the integral of constant. Then we have xy, and then plus the integral of x, 1 half x squared. y to the negative 2 is just a constant, so such that x goes from 0 to 2. So you are plugging in the 2 and the 0 to x. All right, so that is equal to integral from 1 and 2. And then you plug in the 2, you have a 2y and then plus 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2y to the negative 2. And then you, what, what do you do? So once you plug in the 0, they are all gone, right? So once you plug in the 0, you have the 0 right there and then a the 0 right there. So basically the whole thing is just equals to 0. And then this is a dy. And then I forgot a dy right there as well. So this becomes a single variable, right? So y only. And then the integral of 2y, that is a y square. The integral of y to the negative 2. So that will be y to the negative 1, right? And then you have negative 2 in front. So when you take the derivative of that, you can get the integrand back. You know what? It's negative 1. Negative 1. All right, so bring the negative 1 down, plus 2, negative 2. All right, so y goes from 1 to 2. So when y is equal to 2, so this one, uh, let, let's just, let me just give you the answer. The answer is equal to 4. So this is a, what, what is this? This is a dx dy integral, from a dx dy integral. Now, can we do dy dx? The answer is yes. Let me do it right now. So if you want to do a dy dx, then this will be a double integral. And then y plus xy to the negative 2. And then we do a dy dx. So y is from 1 to 2. And then x is from 0 to 2. Uh, what is the difference between dx dy and dy dx? Are we going to get the same answer? The answer is yes. You are going to get the same answer. But which one should I do? The answer is sometimes doing dx dy is easier. Sometimes doing dy dx is easier, depending on the in integral on the in integral. Sometimes dx dy you can probably do in two minutes, and then when you switch over to the dy dx, you might have to do a bunch of u substitution integration by part. You end up have to spend ten to fifteen minutes to just to find an integral that you can complete in two minutes. Okay, so really depends on the integral. Okay, so we are integrating this. So what is the integral of that? The integral is, so that this one is one half, right? Oh, I should start with from zero to two. And then y square, right? And then uh, what, what about the negative two? That will be a minus x to the times y to the negative one. Take the derivative, you get... Um, Definitely miss the one half. Take that derivative, you get the y plus xy to the negative two. All right, and then y goes from zero, not zero. Y goes from one to two, and then this is over dx. You have zero to two. You plug in a, you plug in a two to a y. You have a four over two is two, and then the other one you have a. 
two to the negative one, so x over two, and then a minus, plug in one to a y, you have a one half, right? And then plug in one to y, you have a minus x, but this is in the parentheses, so once you subtract that, then that will be a plus x. So I can just get rid of this and then change this to a plus x and then a dx. So now we are returning to integral calculus and then the integral of two is two, is the integral, oh, ha, huh, the two and, and, and the one half. Okay, so zero to two. 2 minus 1 half, so that is a 3 over 2, and then negative 1 half plus 1, that is a plus 1 half x, and then dx, oh, this is easier. So integral of that, 3 over 2x plus uh, 1 over 4 x squared. Take the derivative, yep, we get a 3 over 2, and then a 1 half. And then from 0 to 2, plug in a 0, everything is gone. So you plug in a 2, you have a 3 plus 4 over 2. 1 over, no, not 4, 4 over 4, 1. And then a minus, you plug in a 0, everything becomes a 0. So that is also equal to 4. This is obtained from a dy dx integral. Okay, so you have uh, this problem, the integration process, you have the same difficulty. Sometimes depending on the function, sometimes the dx dy, again, you can do it in under two minutes. But if you switch over to a dy dx, you might have to do a bunch of integration by parts, uh, use substitution, partial fraction, who knows? You might end up have to spend more than 10 minutes to do a job that you can do it in two minutes. Alright, so that is the end of this problem. If you like the way I explain double integral over a rectangle, thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel for more contents like that. I meet you all in the next one, signing out.